Hello, this is Judith Casper, APN 620. Today is October 7, 2017, and I am here to present the food and culture fact sheet of Hungary. The first objective of this presentation is to understand a more than 1200 year old Central European nation's food culture. With that, let's look at some quick facts. The Republic of Hungary is located in Central Europe. Its population is about 10 million. Its terrain is mostly flat to rolling plains. Uh, more than 85% of people are Hungarians. Its language is Hungarian. The main religion is Roman Catholic. There is a lake um, on the western part of Hungary. It's called Lake Balaton. It is a popular summer resort where people also like to go to fish and this is the largest lake in Central Europe. Hungary is also a target of gastronomic tourism, uh, which is very significant. What is traditional food? Quality or fame attributable to the place of origin or a product name that is identifiable with the place of origin? Now let's look at some traditional foods and dishes of Hungary. When somebody knows a little bit about Hungary, they definitely will know guillage. Guillage is a beef soup made of beef, carrot, potato, onion, garlic, oil, um, celery, parsley, and some spices. It also, its specialty is also called chipetke. It's small egg dumplings and it's usually made uh, by hand. The second one is paprika chicken. It's called paprika szczyrke in Hungarian. It's made of oil, onion, paprika, chicken, cubed peppers and spices. And usually sour cream is also added at the end. Palacinta is one of the favorites uh, for children. These are crepes filled with sweetened cottage cheese, apple, jam, fruit or chocolate syrup. Perkult with galushka is a stew. It's usually made of beef or pork or chicken. It's served with egg dumplings and it's a very delicious and very typical of Hungary, Hungary's um, food selection. The next pasta with cottage cheese may sound um, strange for some other nations. Uh, but in Hungary, this is very popular. It's usually sprinkled with bacon, cottage cheese, with paprika, salt, and also served um, um, with some garlic bread or toast. The next is retes. It's another favorite for children. It's strudel filled with sweetened cottage cheese, apple, sour cherry, or pumpkin. And finally, hortobagi husos palacinta. This is also crepes, but this one is filled with meat and um, it's prepared, the, the filling is prepared like stew and the name Hortobadi comes from the place that it's named after. Our second learning objective is uh, to see why Hungary is a significant destination of gastronomic tourism. And our next slide will probably demonstrate it very well in pictures. Some of the traditional foods and dishes. Uh, the first one is guillage, that delicious beef um, soup that I just described before. A restaurant, a traditionally organized outdoors restaurant in Hungary, very popular in the summer. Wine selection. Hungary is also very famous for its wine. Um, and on the right side, you can see uh, pig salami. Um, from Germany or Austria, people usually travel to Hungary just simply to buy this type of salami. It's delicious. Uh, Rétes, children's favorite, uh, the one on the picture is filled with cottage cheese. And on the last picture, you can see a main dish that's um, uh, served in a restaurant and very nicely organized. You feel like you would really would want to eat it. And now let's look at some traditional eating patterns. Hungarians usually eat breakfast at home. It is 
not a habit to go out to eat in restaurants like in America. They usually eat bread, butter, cold cuts, eggs, or cereal. Children eat lunch at home or in the school. They usually serve a kind of vegetable stew, which is called fuseli, and this is very nutritious. The father and the mother may go home to eat lunch. It depends on how far they work. Or uh, another option is the cafeteria. Around 10 a.m., both adults and children will eat snack, which is called tizorai. And that can be toast, a simple sandwich, sweets, coffee, or tea. The name tizorai refers to 10 a.m. Uh, snack. In the evening, the family gathers around the table for dinner. It's usually at 7 o'clock. Um, they often serve warm meal, which is home, can be homemade stew or soup, ham and eggs. The weekend lunch is traditional. It's a big family meal and usually it's a must. It includes homemade meat soup with noodles, uh, meat with rice or potato, and Hungarians really like pickled vegetables. Uh, they do not frequently use ready-to-eat meals. Traditional fast foods can be made quickly at home when time is pressing. Next, let's look at the traditional health benefits. Uh, in Hungary, at butcher shop, you can find all parts of animals. It's very normal to see and it's very normal for any family to serve internal organs or um, chicken feet, for example, as part of the meal. Uh, the main uh, health benefits is that, for example, uh, chicken internal organs are very rich in protein and also in minerals and trace elements. Uh, iron, phosphorus, selenium, folate, and also some of the vitamins like vitamin A, C, B6, and B12. However, uh, they are also high in cholesterol, so one needs to eat it in moderation. Another great health benefit in Hungary is family gardens are very popular, um, especially outside of the cities, um, around the houses. People usually have their own garden where they grow vegetables, and some places they even have uh, small animals. Also from the 1990s, um, the Hungarian government banned uh, the GMO uh, crops. Therefore, it's really traditional and healthy foods that you can access in Hungary. And let's, let's look at the current food practices in both uh, Hungary and in the United States. Um, in Hungary, people are mainly meat eaters and pork is dominant. Very few Hungarians are vegetarians, therefore you don't really find vegetarian restaurants there. They prefer shopping in local grocery stores, however, big supermarkets are also available. Farmers markets are popular and preferred. At the weekend, Saturday or Sunday mornings, the farmer market is a regular uh, destination for a family. A uh, butcher shop carry all animal parts. Root vegetables are very often used. And uh, for red pepper, there is a very special preparation. They usually grind it and they call it pirosh aranj, which means red gold. And it's perfect with sandwiches. Sour cream is a must have in Hungarian kitchen. Almost every dish will include, or every recipe will include sour cream. Turo is also very popular. Uh, the, the closest ingredient in the United States is probably cottage cheese. Grilling is not common in Hungary, but cooking guyash outdoors in a big cauldron called bograch is a great tradition and people like to uh, have their food prepared outside. The learning objective number three is um, to understand where the root of Hungarians' ability to cook extremely economically comes from. Hungarians were forced to be economical throughout history. Um, throughout its history, it was occupied by invaders like 
1200s the Tatars, 15, 1600s the Turkish army was there for 150 years, 1700, 1800s the Habsburgs of Austria, 1900s um, Hitler's Germany, and after the Soviet Union. Um, Hungary regained its independence in 1988. Therefore, food was always short. Um, and therefore, food is not complicated. It's very easy to prepare here in the United States as well. All ingredients are available that you would need for a typical Hungarian recipe. Um, Hungarian diet is Hungarian diet uses traditional ingredients regardless of economic status. And one of the examples uh, that families like to turn fruits into jam, compote, or sugary syrup called sir, which is served as a beverage with water, and they preserve it for the winter. Learning objective number four is soup. I included soup because it is an important element of Hungarian traditional meals. It is nutritious and easy to digest, and Hungarians eat it every day. From chicken noodle soup to spinach soup, mushroom or bean soup, and here in one of the pictures you see this pink soup. Um, this is sour cherry soup, and this is very popular for children. And very nutritious as well. And now let's look at my perspective as a future professional in the field of nutrition. The first nutrition concern uh, that I would like to address that may arise from the food selection of Hungarians is pork and specifically its high saturated fat content. Research um, indicated that saturated fat may uh, cause cardio cardiovascular disease. Uh, therefore, dietary guidelines aim to restrict saturated fat intake. Eating in balance is important. Um, eating meat with uh, plenty of vegetables and fruits. Another topic that would need to be addressed in connection with Hungarians is American style fast food restaurants are spreading and they bring the processed food industry's threat with it. Uh, however, uh, these uh, restaurants such as McDonald's, they are not so widespread. They are mainly available in uh, cities. Uh, the cultural components when counseling a patient from this country. I would definitely recommend eating more fresh vegetables. Hungarians like to cook their, their vegetables and not consume enough fresh. Also, I would encourage them using more whole wheat, whole grain products. White bread and white rice is very popular and whole wheat, whole grain is not so much. I would also encourage Hungarians to consume less alcohol. Uh, they are high on the list um, of alcohol consumption amongst uh, European countries. And that concludes my presentation. Here you can find the references that I used. And here you can find the picture credits that I used. Thank you very much for your attention and see you later.